Hello and welcome back to Beyond the Trailer. Today we're joined by Wendy McClendon Covey from the Single Moms Club. Hello. But I, I have to say, you have another very uh, great job right now. You are uh, Beverly Goldberg on the Goldbergs on, on ABC. On the Goldbergs on ABC, <laughs> nine o'clock Tuesdays. You're my you're my favorite TV mom of all time. Thank you. That makes me f take that, Marion Ross. <laughs> And I have to say, you know, you play a very distinct kind of mom on that show. Mm -hmm. But then in this movie, Single Moms Club, mm -hmm. which we're here to talk about today, Tyler Perry's new movie, you play a different type of mom. A very different type of mom. What do you think made Hollywood finally realize there are different kinds of moms out there than just June Cleaver and Mommy Dearest? Yeah, I don't know what, <laughs> what made them finally hone in on that. But uh, yeah, it's true. This, I, I play a smother on the TV show and then in this movie I play someone who's so career driven that she really can't be bothered with her own kid. Mm -hmm. So she's failing on all points. <laughs> she, she's not, not doing the job very well and her kid is, is telling her, yeah, you don't pay attention to me. I'm not important to you. And She's failing there too. Well, so. your character, you know, really struck me in the film because I think that's a fear a lot of women have. You know, trying mm -hmm. to balance both married and single. Yeah. You know, and failing in both areas. Mm -hmm. And since mm -hmm. that's kind of a new thing to see depicted in entertainment, how did you approach the role? Well, it's I don't know that it's a new thing to see or that people are finally saying, yeah, I can't do it all. Mm, yes. I can't do it all, and now I'll finally admit it. Um, First of all, hats off to any mother of any kind. It's hard enough to have children with a spouse. Mm -hmm. Even if you've got all the money and nannies in the world, that's hard enough to do it on your own and still try to have a successful career and still try to, you know, take a bath every day. I don't know how <laughs> people do it. I really don't. I'm not a strong enough person. That's why I never had children. I know my limits. <laughs> you, just, you, don't, you know the part that you want. And I, th I know right? the part that I, well, I, I just know that I would be a terrible mother and I would never inflict that on a child. Well, your character actually <laughs> says, I want to have it all. Yeah. And that's been a battle cry for a lot of women. And yeah. sometimes it's used against them. Uh, were you, did you try to be, you and Tyler, to be sensitive to that? You know, to women who watch it and go, because, you know, I think it's a little scary to be yeah. like, to realize maybe I can't have it all. Yeah. And, and my philosophy is you can have it all, but not all at once. Oh, I like that. And, and the 80s, I curse you, 80s. <laughs> made us feel like, or made moms feel like, well, if you, can, if you don't have it all, it's because you're not trying hard enough. Mm -hmm. These women have been trying and they bought into that myth and they are now saying, look, no one's helping us. We need help. Why don't we help each other out? So that's how these unlikely characters become friends. And that's another thing too, is like, how do you make friends after the age of 30? How do, how do people make friends? <laughs> like. I haven't made any new friends. I've made lots of acquaintances, but like good friends since high school. Right? Yeah. Okay, well these women, they all bond over this fundraising thing. And when you have well, kids, you're ki fundraising constantly. Well, I love the way they came together. Their kids yeah. are all in trouble. Yeah. And so they find themselves in the same room. So they all get in trouble. Right? Yes. And they have to work they're together. Minors. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, speaking of having to work really hard, I noticed in the film that you all wear very high heels. Yes. Uh-huh. Was that Tyler Perry's uh, choice? Because <laughs> I was like, what single mom would run around in high yeah, heels? Yeah, <laughs> I will take the blame for that myself, okay? I felt my character would wear high heels because flats yes. are for quitters. Yeah. <laughs> and my character is not a quitter. I like that. She, is, she needs to look tight and buttoned up and severe at all times. Did I pay for that at the end of the day? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. But... It does look good. Yes, definitely. You know, the pain is the name of the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Excellent. Come on. So, you know, you said you don't have any children yourself, but, you mm -hmm. know, of course, uh, you have your own mom. Mm -hmm. uh, did mm -hmm. any of the moms in the movie, any of the single moms, did they remind you of your mother? Um, none of the moms in, in Single Moms Club reminded me of my mother because my mom was so overprotective and so, like, we're keeping this family unit together and let's go sit in church for eight hours. Like, <laughs> my mom is more like Me Beverly Goldberg. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, but I saw a lot of my friends 
in single oh, moms club. A really? lot of my contemporaries, I felt like their stories are finally being told. Did you, so, I mean, a lot of times movies glamorize it and they're mm -hmm. like, oh, everything's magically fixed. Mm -hmm. And that was something this movie doesn't do. No. So have your friends, have you talked to them about it? Have any of them had the chance to see it? I'm bringing a bunch of them to the premiere. Oh, great. So, yeah, I can't wait to get their feedback. But, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of ways that people become single moms. Sometimes you get divorced. Sometimes you choose to have a, a mm -hmm. baby on your own. Sometimes, uh, you know, your ex-husband uh, lords the alimony over mm -hmm. you and, and kind of tries to keep you under his thumb that way. Well, like there's I, I liked that. None of the moms in the movie are the same. Yeah, They all have different exactly. circumstances, which mm -hmm. I thought was nice. Yeah. Well, speaking of people who should see the movie, I thought that this would be a great movie for, uh, movie for kids to see. Because yes. I think so often, Children don't understand what their parents are going through. Yes, uh, that is a very uh, good point. I try. <laughs> Beauty and brains. <laughs> oh, thanks. Right back All right? at you. She understands <laughs> things. That is a good point. And then they should think about this when Mother's Day comes, which is only in two months. Right. And, and um, spend their allowance on a very nice gift for mom. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> Or take and see this movie, which I'm sure. Oh, will still that's be a playing. very good. Oh, I think so we'll too. Buy the, the theaters, DVD, right? <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's a very good good observation because I don't, you know, kids, they're kids. They think about themselves. Mm -hmm. How is this affecting me? They don't think. What's mom sacrificing? How is it? Does my mom go and cry at night because she's breaking down? I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's really. Yeah, well, uh, like that's a that. good, uh, you, you know, know. You have great kid actors in this movie, and, like, I think you yeah. really see, I mean, I think that it's nice to see some things from the other side. So often mm -hmm. it's like, my parents being unfair to me. Right, and, you exactly. Know, here it's like, well, I don't think you're really an uh, understanding the whole situation. Exactly, yeah. But I wanted to ask you, who else do you think would enjoy this movie? Because we know single moms will like it, and kids should single see Single moms it. will like it. If you like things that are funny, I think, Excellent. you know, that's <laughs> enough reason right there. If you're a fan of Terry Crews, Rush out and see this movie. He's okay. hilarious in it. Um, anyone of either gender that thinks that William Levy looks good without his shirt. <laughs> you did have some very good looking do guys show up, in this movie. Right? I was like, wow, Gorgeous I did not men in this, this movie. Tyler Perry yeah. can cast both sexes. <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're interested in diversity, Come and see this movie. We have a very diverse cast. I, I think that's this is the most diverse movie to certainly come from Tyler Perry. Yeah. But yeah. I think from you know uh, you know African American films are doing very well. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't categorize this, this uh, that way at all. No. Which I no. thought was really great. And once again, I feel Perry's leading the charge. Right. In a change, right. which is nice. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I will be watching you. Oh, I've already <laughs> seen you. I saw this movie in advance, but I recommend you go. And of course, I'll be tuning into the Goldbergs. Wouldn't miss it. You're an angel. Thanks for your time. You're an angel. <laughs>